a local critical care nurse is in New York and she's helping in the midst of this pandemic. We first brought you her story as she left her family and got ready to battle the virus head on. Jade Cunningham caught up with her today about what the journey's been like for her. Now the influx of patients coming in has slowed down. When we first spoke with Jessica Faust, she had flown to New York ready to hit the ground running. The unit that I'm working on um, is a pediatric ICU that they converted into an adult ICU. Now two and a half weeks later, she's working four 12 hour shifts a week, taking care of COVID positive patients who depend on her for survival. So everyone we see is basically on the ventilator and they don't have enough real ventilators like we're using home ventilators that people have donated with limited supplies. It gets stressful for Faust and her colleagues. The toughest part, though, is seeing patients suffering without loved ones nearby. So you're having to take an iPad in the room to show them their family members and so they can talk to them. And, you know, they're crying and they're singing and they're praying for them. And it's you know, it's it's very difficult. A critical care nurse for 13 years. This journey is hard, but it's given Faust new strength and determination. We are giving our all for these patients. And, you know, I feel like every nurse in the whole world deserves props because we're fighting this battle together as like one. And as she continues the fight alongside so many others, it should be a lesson to us all to value life and those who are working hard to save it. Jay Cunningham, Eyewitness News. Faust says there's new concern that parts of New York will reopen in just a few weeks. It also means her eight-week stay may extend if help is still needed.